Hi students, now we are going to discuss problem number 4 according to the current LCT applications with the very very important here. Remember why I am saying important meet is repeatedly previously two concepts, uh, two, two neat exams directly, okay, two times in neat exam. Here two sources is given, remember that here. Find the current in the below circuit, find the net current in the below circuit, remember this. Here 6 volt source will be there, here 12 volt source will be there. Here two batteries connected to the same circuit, remember this, two batteries, two sources. For example, here also one generator, here also another generator, okay. Here also one generator source, here also one generator source. What will be going to happen? So two sources will be attached to the one common circuit. Here for example current will be flowing from positive to the negative, positive to the negative and positive to the negative like this way. Okay. Similarly here also current flowing from positive to the negative. Okay. Positive to the negative. Okay. So one will be in clockwise direction, another one will be the anti-clockwise direction. Observe that. Okay. So here, finally I will tell the one shortcut method, within 30 seconds you will get the answer, okay. We will follow the common procedure. Here two sources will be there, so it will the superposition principle. In the superposition principle, two sources will be there. Here two sources will be there. Short the one source, any source, short the one source, calculate the equivalent resistance in the particular, inclusive resistance equivalent current in the circuit. And next one, so short circuit to the another side, okay. Then you will calculate the this side. So I am short the first 12 volts. Okay, then I will calculate. Remaining circuit will be the as this. So here 3 ohm, here 6 ohm, and here also 3 ohm, here also 3 ohm. So I am short short the this 12 volt source. Here also 3 ohm. So this here 6 volt source. So here also 3 ohm. Okay, observe that. So I short I short the one source. Remaining source will be attached to all resistors. I will calculate the one current value. Okay. Then how you see? So here 3 ohm, 3 ohm will be the in series. 3 plus 3, 6. Here 6 ohm, 6, 6 ohm, 6 ohm in the parallel. So like this way. So 3 plus 3, 6. 6 into 6. 6 into 6 divided by the 6 plus 6. So 36 divided by the 12. Nothing but a 3 times. So nothing but a here 3 ohms. So what is the resultant of this? 3 ohms. Then remaining what will be there? 3 ohm. Here resultant you get the 3 ohm and here source will be the 6 volts and here also 3 ohm. These three will be in the series of parallel. These three will be in the series. Why? Because of no closed loop here. 3 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm. So like this if we attach 1 ohm, 3 ohm, 3 ohm like this. Source will be there. So these 3 ohm now. So what will be there? So R equivalent is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So nothing but a 9 ohm. So here voltage is equal to how much? 6 volts. For example, I1 is equal to V by R equivalent. So V is equal to how much? 6 divided by 9, 2, 3. So nothing but here 0 0.66667 amperes. Approximately 0 0.66667 amperes. Next. Check it. Here, so first we are closing the short the this circuit now. Now we are short circuit the this circuit left side. So keep the remaining as it is. So what will be there? Here 3 ohm. So I am short this circuit. 3 ohm. Okay. Here 6 ohm. Here 3 ohm. Here also 3 ohm. And here how much source will be there? 12 volt source. How much source will be there? 12 volt source. I am shortcut the short circuit the this way. I am closing this. So another source. So how much same process? 3 plus 3. Okay, these two are in series. 3 plus 3, 6. This resultant will be the 6 ohm. 6 into 6. These two will be the same. Same pro parallel. So 6 into 6 by 6 plus 6. So nothing but a <coughs> same value. 3 ohm. So similarly here also 3 ohm resultant. And here also 3 ohm. So here also 3 ohm. And here also 12 volts. Okay. How you get now? Then catch the point there. These two will be 3 plus 3. So series 6 ohm. This 6 ohm, 6 ohm in the parallel. So same. So how much you are getting here? Here also you will get same. Okay. Here also 12 volts. Here. <coughs> R equivalent is equal to. These three will be the in the series. So 3 ohm plus 3 ohm plus 3 ohm. So nothing but a 9 ohm. Okay. Then here. V is equal to how much here? V is equal to 12 volts. What we have to calculate current? For example, imagine this is the I2 current. Why? Because of secondary source. Okay. 
I is u equal to V by R equal and V is equal to mass tall walls divided by no 4 by 3 nothing but a 1.66 amperes approximately we will get the I2 is equal to how much 1.6 amperes what we are asked find the net current in the circuit one is clockwise direction another one is the anti-clockwise direction clockwise direction will be considered as a positive anti-clockwise will be considered as a negative so according to circuit so like this I1 will be the positive so I2 will be the negative okay clockwise anti-clockwise I1 value is equal to how much 0 0.6 Double six seven amperes and I2 will be the 1.66 amperes. So I net current is equal to I1 minus I2. Okay, I1 clockwise, I2 anti clockwise. So nothing but a 0 0.667 minus 1.66 amperes. So I net current in the circuit is equal to here big one minus 0 0.66 amperes okay i net current is equal to how much 0 0.66 amperes so this is the big methodology okay now you understand according to the superposition remember that superposition superposition principle so when the two sources is given shortcut one source okay calculate the remaining value okay then next time short circuit secondary then you will get the this value like this you will get the value net current so i will give the shortcut method directly we will get it so here how much 6 volts here how much 12 volts ok so uh, previously i thought no so three triangles method so i am following like this this is the my own methodology so i am cutting to the two pieces Two pieces mean this six become here three ohm, here three ohm. Okay, I'm taking one piece. How much will be there? So I'm taking left piece. So here three ohm, here three ohm. Why? Because of no piece. Here also three ohm. Here six volts. These three resulted will be the nine ohm. Here voltage will be the six volts. I is equal to V by R. So nothing but here six by nine. So after calculation, you get the same value zero point double six double six seven amperes. So same. So I am remove this part right here. Three ohms will be there. So for that I will calculate. If twelve volts, three ohm, three ohm, three ohm. Similarly here also resonant will be the nine ohm, and voltage will be the twelve volts. So I two is equal to the V by R. So nothing but you will get the one point six six amperes. So I net is equal to I one minus I two. So after resolving, then you will get the minus zero point six six. This is the my shortcut method. Remember this. Okay. Thank you.